Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and today I want to talk to you about how your mindset, your vibration is creating the life you're experiencing. The scripture talks about whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. But this is an underlying truth that somehow is missed because people look around them and they say, well, but these people in my life, I didn't want them. I didn't attract them. It wasn't my vibration. I'm, I'm feeling good about myself. Why are these bad people coming into my life? Or they're having negative experiences and problems and turmoil. And they're saying, but but I've, I've changed over this past few months. I've been doing better. So why would I have these bad things? Why am I attracting these bad things? That can't be what's going on. But see, here's what is going on. These people have years and years of seeds they have sown that they are now reaping a harvest of. And they think that these temporary few weeks or days even of effort towards being positive, towards having a good vibration, towards thinking about those things that are good and just and of good report and they're lovely, thinking about those things that somehow is going to undo all that bad sowing that they've been doing. This isn't to say that you can't undo that. Of course you can, but many people don't. They just start sowing new seeds, which is great. But what about all those old bad seeds that they haven't gotten rid of? Do you want to receive the harvest for those things that you do not want anymore? That you've changed your mindset about and you, you no longer want those things? This is one of the things that's so important with coming to Jesus is that you repent of all those sins, which means you confess and forsake them. It doesn't mean like people today talk about you just so, somehow rattle off some apology to, toward God and as if he's some cosmic forgiveness machine, you're automatically forgiven. Everything's great now. You have to confess. That's what most people do. And the thing which they don't do is the last part, which is forsake those things. Have you really not just confessed that you made mistakes and that you sowed you have, you've been sowing all these bad seeds, but now you've forsaken them. Because many people are going back and they're reliving in their minds bad moments and thinking about this bad thing over here and that talking about negative experiences that happened to them. Listen, you need to get to the point to where you don't talk about any negative experience at all, except if you're talking to someone that's going to help you solve that problem. Otherwise, all you're doing is complaining. But until you can have that mindset, you're just going back rehashing and you're basically just dribbling some water here and there on those seeds, making sure they're growing. Those things that you supposedly confessed, but you haven't forsaken them. Stop going back to the past. Paul said, talked about forgetting those things which are behind and pressing toward the mark, the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. That's what you need to do. Press forward. Stop looking at the past. I don't care if you have just confessed and just forsaken all those things one minute ago. Don't go back at dreaming them up. Don't go back thinking about those things and talking about them and reliving them and fretting over them and being anxious to get rid of those things altogether. Now, there may be things you need to correct and make right for people that you did wrong, things that didn't go well. Okay, but only put a much attention on that as needs to to get those things resolved that's it but for the most part you just need to get rid of all that stuff stop going back to it stop talking about your failures stop talking about your misery stop talking about all oh, this happened in the past oh i can't believe that bad thing happened oh i can't believe this uh, and all these bad things stop reliving it that stuff should be so far from your mind that you have a hard time even remembering it you know i have people that will bring up stuff Sometimes people that come into my life that have been, I knew years ago or whatever, and they'll bring up something. It's like, I don't even remember that. I legitimately don't even remember. I had to struggle and strain to even remember those things because that stuff's gone. I'm not worrying about things in the past, things that are bad that have happened. And sometimes there can be teaching tools from those things that you can bring out and teach people about. But you have to be very careful because most people's daily activity is either living in the future, daydreaming about stuff they're going to hope one day is going to happen for them, or living in the past, 
whining about things that happen, being anxious about those things that happen. And here's the trouble with that for the present moment is the fact that very often you make decisions based on those bad things that happened in the past, causing you to be limited and many times to get in the same cycle of doing the same thing over and over again that's not working for you, that you don't want, and yet you keep doing it over and over again. But one of the reasons why you do that is because you're going back to the past. You haven't left those things behind and moved forward and forsaken them. I've known people who, for example, were smokers and all they're talking about is, well, you know, I used to smoke and I smoked. And when I smoked and I did, why? What good is it? Unless you're helping somebody by showing them the way out of their error, what are you doing? You haven't forsaken that sin. You haven't forsaken that error. You haven't forsaken the error of your ways. Because whether you're doing it or not, you're reliving it. You're thinking about it. You're wanting to have done it. You're wanting to keep doing it. You may say, well, I don't want to do that. But why do you keep bringing it up? Why do you keep meditating on it day in and day out? When you keep going back to the past, you just keep all that stuff that you sowed those bad seeds that you don't want the harvest from, you just keep adding water, you keep adding fertilizer, you keep propagating those crops that you don't want. And until you get rid of that mentality, start vibrating positively. And see, many people think vibrating positively, having a positive mindset is just a matter of being peppy and somebody says something bad and you have a positive spin on it. But it's more than that. It is about what's going on in your mind, in your heart. Because if you're daydreaming about things in the past or only dreaming about things in the future, you are not going to have the life that you want. That's not vibrating in a positive level. Many people vibrate in a low, kind of almost neutral to negative level. and But they call that positive. I'm not talking about the average person. These are people who are trying, but they're so far removed from being positive and from having an uplifting, edified mindset that they can't even see the darkness that they're in. They see a little bit of light and think, oh, I got all the light, but they don't. And one of the truest ways to know and to, to really examine yourself is to see what are the thoughts going on in your day-to-day -day activities. Are you thinking about things in the past that didn't go on the way you wanted them to? Are you thinking about people who did you wrong? Are you seeing someone new and they remind you of someone in the past? And so you're already judging them based on nothing about them, but something that happened to you in the past or somebody that seems similar to them that did something to you in the past. And you're just consciously living your life replicating the bad seeds sown in the past. And whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. You're going to keep reaping the same harvest over and over again. Even if you put a positive spin on it. Most people's positivity is just lying to themselves and lying to other people. They don't really believe it. Because their mentality is always going back to the past. Being anxious about things that happened in the past. And looking to the present and future through the lens of what happened. And those bad things. And presuming that those things are going to keep on going. And sure enough, what's over man soweth, that shall he also reap. And according to your faith, be it unto you. You're going to have those things. Those things, what you've believed, will be done unto you. If you keep believing for that and expecting that and meditating on those things, you can have five minutes of positivity, but when you have the other 16 plus hours of your day spent ruminating and meditating in negative past experiences, things that aren't bringing out the best in you, things that aren't bringing out the best in other people, things that aren't going to lift you up to a higher level, then my friend, you're going to keep reaping the same results. So I want you to focus today on that. You may have confessed your sins. You may have confessed those things in the past that didn't work for you and they failed and they brought you misery. They brought you judgment. They brought you disaster and failure. But have you forsaken them? Because if you're still thinking about them, if you're still reliving them, if you're using them to taint your current experience and even your future plans, then you haven't forsaken them. And my friend, I encourage you to do that today. 
I pray this was a blessing for you. Please let me know if you've been blessed by this, if you've been uplifted by this, if you've learned something, if you've seen things through a different way of seeing them, through different eyes. Leave a comment below. I want to hear from you. May God bless you richly.